Hi guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a collective Dollar Tree haul. This is probably a large haul. Um, I actually just uploaded a Dollar Tree haul in a shot with us, with Josiah and I. And that was recent, which will coincide with this haul. The Dollar Tree haul that I just uploaded, I was just sitting on that for probably a week. I hope not a month. But sometimes I do sit on my videos too long I go ahead and record them and I just don't feel like editing them editing them <laughs> so that's just I don't know I don't know because I've been on YouTube so long I don't care to edit and usually the hauls are easy but when I do all the other ones they are harder they're not harder they take longer so it can be from 15 minutes to a couple of hours anyway you guys don't care about that <laughs> But that's the reason why sometimes you're like, oh, um, you know, my grocery haul may be like weeks down the line or yeah, weeks or days down the line. Okay, guys, so let's get started with this haul. This is not in any particular order. I probably shouldn't be lazy and put it in order. <laughs> but the very first thing was these pastel jot highlighters. I saw these and I thought they were really cute on yesterday. No. No, it was the day before yesterday when Josiah and I went to Dollar Tree. So I wanted to get these. And then I also saw the new highball, I think it's highball, uniball pins. I didn't get those because I have enough pins. And I started ordering my pins from the in the planner community and they write so much better. Than, but they are two pins that I actually absolutely love from the Dollar Tree. This is the only one, this is the only one that I have right here near me that I absolutely love but I've been buying them from the planner community and they have tested them and they're really really good okay so I also picked up the hopping toy the little chick so I said he wanted this and I think he forgot about it because it's sitting over here in in the bag and then I did pick up some diamond wrap I wanted to try my hand at this DIY I want to do and yeah, so I'll share if I do the DIY. Okay, I also, well, let me show them one second with the rest of them. I did pick up the Blessed Cross, and I like this one. Really pretty with the gray, with the galvanized. And then I did pick up a nail file. And this is a set of three, and I think it comes... Yeah, I think you can maybe cut this off, or will it take this? Anyway, the pouch comes with it. Yeah, I don't know if you can cut this off with that on me. Josiah pointed out in that shot with us these little emoji lip balms, and I thought they were super cute. So I ended up getting one for everyone. I can't remember which one is Josiah's, and it may have it may be one more emoji that I didn't get, one or two more. But this was the last one with the shades, so everyone must select the shades. And then this one here. This one may be mine. <laughs> Super cute. These would be great to put in their Easter basket. I did pick up a little basket for my mom. And then I was like, these are the perfect colors for my craft room, but I don't really have any space in here to use it anywhere. So, really cute. If I went back and got another one for her. Or if you have a little girl, super cute. I did get a paintbrush. I did use one this morning. Here, man. There's your chick. You want me to open it? You got it. And then, yeah. So, I used one this morning. I got the smaller one. And I like those. And then I also wanted to try the Grillmates Basil Balsamic Veggie Marinade Mix. And I was like, maybe I should have got two for this hoe because that sounds good together. But I just got one to season your veggies. I did pick up the fire roasted jalapeno, jalapeno salsa. This is in hot and this expires in September. I was in the store and that shot with me and I was looking at that. I saw this in a haul and I didn't know. I love the pink Himalayan salt. This is super fine. You get a ton of it. But I don't know. Um, I still will watch it. Um, I wonder how fine it is in a salt shaker or whatever. But anyway, I picked it up. Because I do like it in the grinder. 
And then the Himalayan pink salt fine grain in the bag. So I did pick that up. And then to go with the salsa, I picked up these tortillas. I, I have not used these before. Um, the hint of lime. The chips. The next couple of items that I picked up, I actually was eyeing these and I think this will be super pretty like on a tablescape or something like that. But I wanted them for my craft room. I was eyeing these last time and I didn't get them. So I broke down and got them. They are really good size. I don't know if it's another color, but I know they had this in the gray and it has like an iridescent like finish. And then they also have it in the ivory. I think it's really pretty to put in your bathroom, your bedroom. Put some flowers in it. You can put a candle in it if you want. Votive candle, like a flameless one. Yes, yeah, a candle holder. So, got those. And then I like this little rustic galvanized cross and this could be for every day not just for Easter and so I want to put this on my tear tray on our everyday eating table and then the sanitizing ready wipes you get 50 in here this is the fresh scent so I thought this will be great to have for the kids I actually probably need another one because this will be really good oh this smells really good it will be great to take on trips and so forth I also picked up some tissue paper. I have a little area in my craft room where it's like gift wrap, tissue paper, and everything, bows and stuff all together. And I just want that area. It is already stocked, but a little bit more choices. And I also love this color combo, of course, you know. And then uh, for the boys, if I need it for, may, well, maybe not their basket, but I guess so for their basket if I don't use the grass or the shred. So I thought this was really pretty. I may go back and get another one. And then I picked up, when I ended that shot with me, I was looking for some loot bags or some clear bags to put like gifts in for table mate gifts. So in the other haul, I mentioned that I'm bought a ticket to go to go wow which is usually in different areas it's a p big planner conference i think one of the largest ones and it's going to be yeah in las vegas i don't know if i said it or not so anyway i got i was going to get the clear loot bags but i ended up getting this one like some ladies are really loving like if you can see that like the unicorns and so forth and so i thought this one would be pretty because of the colors i was going to use maybe this tissue paper in it but i thought the decorative shreds some people don't like it but oh well in boxes or whatever and i don't care to like it in boxes either when they're milling stuff let's see let me show you this is like from a planner company 1407 yeah, 1407 planners and like they'll put it like in their packaging and some people don't care for it it don't really bother me too well i mean too much but i thought it would be cute to put it in these little shred bags and i love these pastel colors it was another color as well so that would be good to have on hand i don't care to put it in like my kids stuff because then i have to clean it up or they have to clean it up but they make a mess and they don't clean it up well i also picked up some of these moist wipes I said before that I really like these and they're antibacteria. If like you don't want to use sanitizer or you may sometimes I'm low on sanitizer or I need to wipe the table off most of the time because the table is still sticky or you went to the park or wherever. These are awesome. So I picked up two because I was like, oh, why do you keep picking up one? Just go ahead and pick up two. So I picked up two of those and I love the packaging color of that. I did go back and I end up getting, if you saw the haul before this one, the table mate gives for the planner conference. So what I'm going to do, because time is winding up now, <laughs> I'm just going to use the journals, like the notepads, divide this up, throw some candy in it, make it pretty, um, my contact card. A contact card like if you're not in the planner community it's just like your Instagram handle if they want to get to know you or reach out to you or be your planner friend so 
I picked up all of these. Okay, guys, so the next couple of items. This is my very first time I seen the dryer ball, so I did pick up some of these and I was ready to haul this so I can use them and try it. So it's supposed to help fluff up your clothes or they no, the drying time is supposed to save the driving drying time and save energy, reduce static and lint buildup, softens fabrics without chemical fabric softeners. So if you can see the comparisons there with my thumb in the way. So I only picked up two of those. I probably should have picked up four because we wash a lot of clothes. Um, we probably should wash two to three loads a day in order not to get backed up. So our laundry room is a workhorse. Okay, I needed some of these rollers. I think I'll, I bought three. Three did I see. And these are great. They're not the greatest. Um quality but I have used them you don't get a lot of uses out of them and I'm doing a lot of painting and have to do a lot of painting but I did purchase some from Home Depot so in a larger pack and mom and I went hog wild with some beauty stuff so that's the next couple of items I have tried the lip oil before in the I think it's lavender I'm not sure but I got the strawberry and it does go on clear. It just, you know, just smells like it with the LA Colors. I did pick up this LA Colors Skinny Dip Shiny Lipstick. And one of these, let's see if I can find it, guys. One of these, Mama, well, I'll find it in a second. Mama sw um, swatched it and she didn't like it. She was like, oh, I wasted a dollar. Because we were sitting there trying to contemplate which colors to get. So this is the skinny dip color. And then I did get the lip gloss. I love lip gloss. And this is just the clear. I also got the... Glamour, it's called Glamour, the LA Color Shiny Lip Gloss. So I'm a lip gloss girl, more so than lipstick. And then I have seen this a couple of weeks ago when I decided to go ahead and pick it up. The Defense Daily, Daily Defense. Cleansing water to remove your makeup. No rinsing, no alcohol, no residue. Cleanse and hydrate. And then, I thought I was going to have to crack this bad boy open because um, I had this stuff sitting in bags probably over a week, y'all. So, this is the White Rain Kids Body Wash and Bubbles. And this is the Hypoallergenic, let's see, Pure Splash, Gentle on the Sensitive Skin Body Wash and Bubble Bath. So, I probably should have picked up two of these. I only picked up one. I think it was a blue one. And it smells really, it smells really good. So I got that for Sasa. And then I did get Sasa a, one of these cooking concept bowls for his little cereal. Because the other bowls, he doesn't sit at the table with um, a booster seat or anything. And so the other bowls are kind of high up. And he can't really see his cereal. And then the little taller bowls are like really small. So anyway, got that for him. And then I got this for myself. Oh, this is right here. For myself, guys, for the gym. So, sports armband case. And I did slip my phone in there. And it does go in. It um, says it works with most iPhones. I also tried to see if it will fit around my arm. And it does. So, um, I don't know if I use it all the time. But I will try to use it most of the time until I get used to it. But the only thing is with that sock pocket on the back, it was a little hard to push it in. But if I didn't have a sock pocket, it'll slide right on in. I also picked up some of these jumbo paper clips from a little planner. Planner Life. Okay, guys, the next couple of items, I did pick up these LED string lights. I don't know how bright they will be. I'm sure the fallout will be terrible, but hopefully when I put them up the first time in my little craft room that they will not be moved anymore. I have to figure out where I want to put them. So I picked up two packs of the little string lights. You get a six count of them. I don't remember if it was any other colors, but... I knew the pink would work well. 
I did pick up two of the little birds. This was really cute. So these terracotta mini plate, mini pots. And I got two sets for Mama for her little herb garden. I was checking out. And I was like, Mama, do you want some? So I grabbed some of those and I did pick up some seeds so every year I tend to forget to get seeds early before they get gone and from the Dollar Tree so some of these are mama so that's why I have so many I have some basil some parsley and they're two for a dollar guys some dill some parsley let's see basil chives and we probably could have shared one I'm sure oregano some thyme and cilantro so I thought I got more than that let's see that's two parsley's I don't remember what mama said she wanted but I only had that many pots what in the world I thought this little onion grass with the eggs on it was cute and it kind of went with or the yellow goes with my living room so I picked this up to add in, a, in an arrangement and then I did go back if you saw the other haul and I did get another keychain and then I thought about adding that to the table mates gift for a keychain for everybody but now they all are gone so it's not anymore and this one says BAM and that's what it looks like on the back with the little tassel so I have one of these little plates and he's in there just to ask him for stuff but he did need one to like take his little snacks and stuff little beads these jewels and gems beads by crafter square and these are like little iridescent or the halo halo graphic iridescent jewels and i thought this would be neat to decorate something for my planner for go wild because some people are buying halo graphic fanny packs um i did see one on amazon where it was a off the shoulder backpack um i can't think of what it's called what are those things called when the side shoulder bag or something like that um boot bags totes planners i think um recollections has a binder personal planner that you can purchase so they just going all decked out with the halo graphic stuff and i didn't even realize that halo graphic was really in or a little ting thing or whatever because I took trail to Route 21 not too long ago and in the back they had all the different Halo graphic stuff and I was like okay so this must be a thing okay guys so the next couple of items that's my other LED string lights I was excited to see these little fur flip flops and they were like on an end cap as we came in the store we went to a different Dollar Tree and I was just curious to know what the other ones had. They, the 9, 10 size seemed like it was a size, and the 7, 8 was a size that went really quickly. They had plenty 5, 6. I am in like a, what am I in? An 8 and a half. 9 to 8 and a half or 8? I think an 8 and a half. Because after I lost weight, I was wearing a 9 like forever and I went down. So I don't remember because that's sad, y'all. I don't buy a whole lot of clothes and shoes, so I guess I haven't had to go up, so I guess I'm good. But anyway, I think I'm in an eight and a half. Okay, so these are a little big because they're a 910. So if you see these, of course you can take your shoes off, but you might go in there a day. It's like super cold or wet outside and you can't try them on. So these are a little big for me and I wear eight and a half, but the seven, eight I could wear but you know how when you have a lot of pressure <laughs> um or you you know how you go in the store and this bottom of this is really slick so when you have a shoe that's too small and you're walking and the surface may be wet slippery combined with friction and your weight you can slide so i felt like they were going to be super slippery to wear with the seven eights and then my heel was close to coming off and I didn't want to fight with that so I rather to get them bigger they felt more secure so if you see this in your Dollar Tree they had them in fuchsia they had them like in a swirly fuchsia with a green color with a little bit of tea 
tan beige and then they had them in solid black I wanted solid black and then they had them in the camo so yeah so if you guys see this I don't know I haven't been watching a ton of Dollar Tree hauls if it's at all of them or just that one okay anyway I did get some brushes I sat over there I already used this one I had to make sure it was super clean but I picked up these two I needed some brushes and all of Dollar Tree brushes are not equal the they're not all equal so if they have like that cushion on the inside it will wear out and if you have like a wig or something it will completely pull away from the the bristles will pull away from the solid piece of the brush so the glue will wear off and that's what happened with some of them so I sat there and I studied the brushes like what won't pull my hair out because um, I have soft hair what will not pull away from still get my edges but won't pull away from the backing of the brush because I don't know y'all I was just over there for like a good 15 minutes looking at all the different brushes I was like that's gonna work that's not gonna work and then they had some that had like the soft handle and I could see with product mixed together that was gonna be messy but they were so cute but anyway it was like a whole science trying to figure out what type of brush because I don't have any girls and so I keep my same brush and they have a different type of brush than what I have okay so then I picked up decided I wanted this little snack cup container and then lastly of the makeup I was looking for this like months ago the concealer correct someone got there before me because they have these in different types of colors and stuff but I really needed the one for dark circles which is this one here it is hereditary in my family this is peach there we go and they have a lavender I forgot what that does they have a green I forgot what that was but I got the yellow for dullness and then I think this is the one dreamy that mama swatched on her arm and she was like oh I don't like it. no she actually put it on and she did not like it she put it on in the car and then this one here they had so many different colors drenched and I try to be selective with stuff like this because staying home or even when I was working out the house I didn't use it a whole lot and I was trying to purge some things in my bathroom which I have a little bit of footage what I have to work on and I still need to purge some more things from Dollar Tree that I never even touched never even used and that's why I said I was going to be more selective of what I purchased from Dollar Tree because some things just sit there and it's like money wasted so guys I think that's everything from that haul thanks so much for watching especially if you watched the end I appreciate you guys always 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 I read all the comments and thank you so much again. Bye-bye.